on top. Hi guys, Robert one here. Uh, sorry for any noise you hear in the background, brother is here. Uh, can't really do much about that, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> so today, got my Dark Magician deck profile for you guys. Um, finally finished the deck, finally, finally got all the cards that I needed. And also all the new support was released just the other day, so I picked it up right away, just so we could... Uh, just so we, I could show you this lovely, lovely deck profile that I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, um, Dark Magician is one of my favourite decks, um, being one of the original protagonists, uh, Atem, Atem, Yugi and Atem, um, and I just really wanted to uh, do a deck profile on this because I just finished the deck, I've been testing it for a while, and I really wanted to give you guys my opinion on the deck and how I feel it works, so... No, 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 I thought Yeah, let's uh, get straight into this profile. So we play... Three, we play one original Dark Magician because he's beautiful, and also get yeah, guys it is the original. Um, if it will focus, no, um, but it is the original Star Deck one. It's not the crappy tin one. So yeah, just gotta make sure you guys know that. Um, one uh, B BPT uh, Dark Magician, um, garbage print. Uh, he's greener. He's greener. He's greener than an alien, but we play him regardless, and we play the best artwork ever. Uh, one of the best artworks ever, um, the jump promo one because, yeah, jump promo. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys. Um, in general, you want to play be playing three dark magicians in this deck. You have to play three um, of any dark magician. Like I just choose to play three different artworks because, you know, diversity between the magicians. Yay. Um, but yeah, I feel like playing. You ha you definitely have to play three dark magicians. It gives you. You want to be able to see this card as much as possible. You want to be able to get to this card as much as possible. And it's really the whole center of the deck. So if you're not playing three, you're not probably not going to win the duels. So three dark magician because without dark magician, you're not really going to get far. Um, next, we play three apprentice illusion magician. Um, <coughs> so we play, we play three apprentice illusion magician because. Um, it's essentially a free summon um, onto the board by discarding a card, plus it gets us to our Dark Magician, which we want to do as much as possible, as I said. Because you want to be able to get to your Dark Magician as quick as possible, you don't want to get any delays, you want to, be, you want to have Dark Magician in your hand, turn one, to cooperate with your trap cards, or your spell cards, or anything you're using, just so you can get to Dark Magician as quickly as possible. Um, this is also an Honest as well, guys, so um, I believe it's only on field, though. Uh, no, from your hand or face up on the field. So even if you don't, even if you already have Dark Magician, you can still like discard this as an honest for an extra two K damage. So very good effect, very good um, power based card. Um, it does have a lot of capability in the deck, and it ha does have a lot of power. So it's a free, it, it has, it's a free summon, um, it's a free search, and it is a d honest. So that makes the card even better. Plus, we finally got it in the um, European. <laughs> European Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so Paul, so very happy about that because I can finally play it. Uh, next, we're playing two Magician of Dark Illusion. Um, I was playing three originally. Um, I felt like three was too much though now because we've got because we've got Apprentice. We don't really need a third Illusion, so I felt like playing two Illusion was fine um, because you still want it in the deck so you can summon it through means such as navigation and from its effect to summon from hand. Um, but you still want to play you still don't want to have it too much and also you play it at two uh, you also want to play this card no matter what because its name still counts as Dark Magician so <clears throat> if you summon this while there's a, a Dark Magic Circle on the board uh, you can banish a card which actually really does come in handy uh, next Free Magician's Rod uh, we're playing Free Magician's Rod just because I feel like Magician's Rod just well, obviously, it's your it's your Stratos of the deck. It gets you to all your Dark Magicians and Spell and Trap cards. Um, uh, it gets you through just the, all your Dark Magicians and Spell and Trap cards that will allow you to actually play the game. So Magician's Rod is very good in that respect. Plus, it's got a combo ability by tributing um, any Spellcaster to add it back to your hand if you activate the Spell or Trap card that turn. So, one Magician's Rod, very, very useful as well. Uh, next, I play the Spellbook Engine as well. Um, two spellbook, or, or spellbook, prophecy, magician, or prophecy. Um, uh, this is basically you normal summon this. You search spellbooks of secrets, and then you spell, search spellbook of knowledge. Just so you can keep drawing through your deck, trying to get to the combo pieces you need as soon as possible. So you want to be playing two, two, two of this. 
Um, one magician's robe. Uh, just another means to get to dark magician. Like you want, as I said, you want as many r ways to get to dark magician as possible. Um, so playing one of him is very good. Plus he's a just a monster that can be set, a uh, normal summon set, whatever, and go. then get um then go. get a dark magician from the deck. Plus it can summon itself back in defense mode as a as a wall as no, well. So that's that's yeah. pretty good as well, guys. Uh, one Maxi as the final monster because you you if you're not you're, you play Mac you play Maxi you 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 have to play Maxi in every deck nowadays. There's no ifs or buts about it. One Maxi is always going to be played. Um, on to spells we play three Dark Magic Circle. Uh, one of the best cards allows you to look at your top three cards of your deck. At any Dark Magician or Dark Magician spell trap card with Dark Magician its name in its text um, to your hand. And just allows you to get just banish cards, search cards, and just do, does a lot in that area. So you want to be playing this at the max value as well, because of if you do, you're going to be seeing it a lot more, and you want to see it as much as possible. Uh, next, we play two Eye of Tamias, one common, one secret, because I only have one secret, and it's 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 very sad. Um, but yeah, you want to be playing two Tamias. Um, I wouldn't recommend three, uh, because of it's mainly only here to summon. Uh, this guy here, um, <clears throat> and you can't actually search this card. So even if you can't search this card, playing this at one, uh, playing this at two is still fine. But I wouldn't recommend it at three purely because you don't want to see it all the time. You only want to see it when you have Dark Magician on the board, and that's only the time you kind of use it. So one, one I have to minus because you don't want to see it all the time, but you do want to see it enough. So um, it's sad that this isn't searchable, but I feel like three would be way too much in the deck. Uh, next, I play two Dark Magic Veil. Um, I play two Dark Magic Veil just so we can actually have a turn two play um, against stuff like uh, against other decks. So if you open like Dark Magic Circle and this, then you can actually summon your Dark Magician from hand, and then just get more plays from that. Plus, um, you can also if you're late game and you don't have a Dark Magician but you need a Dark Magician, uh, you can summon not that. <laughs> you can summon your Apprentice from the graveyard or from your from the graveyard, and then. Yeah, just just, uh, just use it to search Dark Magician. So this is basically Monster Reborn and a t turn 2 play card, which actually does come in handy a lot. So through testing, it came came through for me, but that's just my opinion, guys. Like I feel like this is a very good card in the deck, though, just because it's like Monster Reborn for the whole deck. Like um, The only card you can't actually reborn in the main deck is uh, just Spellbook of Prophecy and Rexy. So the cards that you're not going to be actually wanting to summon back. Uh, next for our Spellbook Engine, we play two uh, Secrets and two Knowledge. Um, as I said with Blue Boy, you just use them to well, get draw power. There's no... Like, you you, search, you open se Spellbook Secrets, you search Blue Boy. You open spell Blue Boy, you, <coughs> you search Secrets, like, and then you go straight into Knowledge. Like, that's the whole point of the, co the engine. Um, you just want to use this for draw power and nothing else. Uh, next, a bit more draw power to Allure of Darkness. Um, I tested it at free. I felt like three was way too much in the deck, so I did. I cut it down to two because of, I didn't want to see it as much as I was seeing it. So um, also because of you running such a low monster count um, of dark monsters, like all your monsters are essentially dark, other than like three of them. But you really don't want to banish these monsters all the time. So if you open an extra monster, yeah. it does come in handy, and it just gives you a way to actually play through things. So just to give you an extra opening hand. <coughs> uh, next, um, two scapegoat. Now I'm playing two scapegoat because of I am playing a link variant of the deck. Um, two scapegoat does come in handy, just being able to some activate during your opponent's end phase and summon four tokens, then go into a link combo. Um, it does come in handy, so I would recommend playing two scapegoat. Um, also, it gives us a little Joey aspect in the deck, but yeah, um, I am playing a link variant of the deck, so I feel like scapegoat at two is just very very good in this deck, and I haven't had problems with it yet. So two scapegoat, just fine. <coughs> Plus, if they cosmic cycle in this, you're gonna get four monsters. What can, what, what way can you go wrong there? Um, next one, dark magic inheritance. Um, same thing as he magician's rod. Searches it. any dark magician spell or trap card with dark magician in its text. Um, I don't know if this can summon an eye I think it can't, but <coughs> it does say uh, list that specifically lists w the card Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl and that is different to stuff like uh, Magician's Circle so I'd actually have to look up the ruling on that. Um, if this can search time after Myers is very good but I'm not 100% sure. 
Um, because of these cards, uh, this card only specifies uh, Dark Magician, where this one specifies uh, Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. So, it may be able to, but I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, next, we play one Illusion Magic, again, just trying to get as many ways to get to Dark Magician as possible. Um, I would, I did play this at 2, before um, before we had uh, Apprentice, but now that it, we have Apprentice, we only really need to play one. So, I felt like one of this was completely fine. Um, next, we play Dark Magic Attack! Uh, yeah. Um, basically, this is a Harpy's Feather Duster why you control a Dark Magician. Um, it's basically one of the best uh, attack, attack named cards in the deck, just being able to wipe all your opponent's back row um, is very very good, plus this is very very searchable so if you search it um, you're going to be go doing good and you're going to want to be searching this because it's a pretty much a dead draw otherwise so yeah very good card Harpy's Feather Duster in a deck uh, then we play finally the last spell, one Raigeki because it's Raigeki why wouldn't you want to play Raigeki so yeah uh, those are the spells um, so so far like this deck is very spell orientated. It has a lot of different plays, but let's get onto the traps. <clears throat> so we play free Eternal Soul. Uh, we play free Eternal Soul because if it's like the best spell or trap card, it's basically the best card in the deck. Being able to summon Dark Magician from the Graveyard or the uh, or the Hand is very very good. Um, plus, it will also protect your Dark Magician, and it can add Dark Magic Attack, which is a very very good card in general. Just being able to do that. Um, search Dark Magic Attack and then be able to just use it during your next turn. Um, also, this kind of, this card is also kind of a double-edged sword, though, guys. Um, uh, which, if it leaves the field, um, well, face up. If this face-up card leaves the field, uh, you banish all face-up cards. On, you banish all monsters you control, but or well, you destroy all monsters you control. But there is a there is actually something funny. If you ban if your opponent banishes this face down, um, you don't lose all your monsters because if it can't activate uh, because it was banished face down. It's, it's a funny ruling, but it actually works that way, and it's really funny how that works. Um, but thanks to this card, it actually does make the card a lot better as well, because they can protect the two. Uh, next, we play two Magician's Navigation. Um, I thought of playing three of this. I didn't like it. Um, I felt like three of it was way too much. Um, so I decided just to cut it down to two, where I felt like it was a good number. I felt like it was a better number than playing it at three. So, I cut this down to 2 over 3. Um, seeing as we already have 3 Eternal Soul, we don't really need 6 free Navigation as well, so... I felt like this would be a lot better at 2, at two than it would be at 3. Um, don't get me wrong though, it's still a very good card, being able to summon 2 Dark Magician, 2 monsters from your deck, 1 monster from your deck and 1 monster from your hand. Um, it's still very, very good. But if your opponent makes sees this, they're getting a plus 2. They're, well, they're getting a plus 1, so... That's also a bad thing. Also, when this is in the graveyard, <coughs> while your opponent, while you control Dark Magician, you can banish it and negate any face-up spell or trap card. So, yeah, they activate Rageki, negate. <laughs> so we, that's very good. And the last trap card is <coughs> Solemn Warning. So Solemn Warning, yeah, don't really, don't really have to explain Solemn Warning to you guys. Solemn Warning is Solemn Warning. Negate summons all over the board. Uh, now for the extra deck. Now, I've been testing the Link variant a lot more because I feel like the Link variant is a lot better than the normal variant of the um, Dark Magician deck. But, <clears throat> so, I've been testing it and testing it and testing it and just feel like this is a lot better than the standard variant. So, <clears throat> let's go into the extra deck. So, we play one Yami token, we play one, Yum, we play two to Yami tokens with Dark Magician in the background, then we play a, a token with Yugi and Yami on it, and then we play a Karibo token, and then we play another Karibo token because of. You're playing Yugi. You're playing a Yugi deck, so you got to have you got to bang out on the Yugi tokens, right? You just got to bang out on them. Like if there was three more Yugi tokens that were different, I would be playing them over the Karibos. Um, so yeah, but well, let's get into the actual extra deck. So, as I said, this is a Link deck, Link profile. So um, we do play three pro Link Spider. Now this is basically if you this is basically at the end of your turn, you can link your Dark Magician if you've got a Circle on board. Um, and then go into this, and then just summon it back with like um, Eternal Soul on your opponent's turn to banish another card. So, Link Spider is here just so you can get through those extra plays and just get your opponent weakened. Plus, it's an option. Um, it's an option of uh, Scapegoat, uh, which also gives you the access to other plays. <coughs> uh, we also play two Proxy Dragon. Uh, same thing with Scapegoat. 
it's proxy dragon, you summon it in by just using two tokens, gives you two extra monster zones. Obviously not gonna be using them all the time, but if you've if you've filled up your extra deck, if you've got like two Link Spider on the board, then you can use one Dark Magician and one Link Spider to make a proxy zone. There's another way out there. Like it just gives you more ways to banish cards as well, so the link the link the link monsters do help you in that sense. Um we play one Mrs. Radiant because we play scapegoat. Um, basically just two extra monster zones, extra boosted attack, and if you've got, and you can basically get, um, two 15 spiders and, uh, a 19 radiant, which is pretty good in the long, in the long run. Uh, we play one Gaia Saber, um, uh, kind of the same thing as the Link Spiders, um, you want to use it with that, but there's another reason why we play this as well. Uh, we play it because of a monster that I'll get into more in a second. And we play one Firewall Dragon because it's Firewall Dragon. It has the synergy with the deck thanks to Proxy Dragon, and it just gives us more. It just be able to compulse anything from the field um, or graveyard or any monsters from the field or graveyard. It's very very good. Plus, when a monster leaves its Link Pointer, um, you get to summon a monster from your hand, and that monster can be a Dark Magician, which is very very good. Uh, being able to summon another mo Dark Magician for free. Uh, those are the links. Um, we play one Narito because we play. We play free Apprentice Illusion Magician Girl, so if you are able to make this, um, it does come in handy. Um, plus, you can just overlay it with a, an Ebon Illusion Magician if you don't really want it. Um, then, because of the reason why we play Gaia Saber, we play one number 42 Galaxy Tomahawk. Um, basically, the reason you play this is because it gives you six monsters, which, then, which leads you into a Firewall and a Proxy Dragon. Um, so basically, what you would do with this is you would detach two monsters. You would then have six. To you would then have five tokens on the board. Uh, so yeah, five tokens. You would use three of the tokens to make Gaia Saber. You would then use two tokens to make Proxy Dragon. Then you would use the Gaia Saber and the last token to make Firewall. So basically, then you would have a firewall pointing to a Proxy Dragon, and a Proxy Dragon pointing to a firewall. So you can get the firewall effect off. So main reason why we play that that combo because it allows you just to do more plays and it's it's a free pro, it's a free firewall dragon effect which does come in handy um but yeah uh, we also play two ebon illusion magician and uh, summon start magician from the deck has more banishing potential if it's normal summon monster attacks you know normal monster attacks plus you can overlay it over norito which will give you even more plays <clears throat> so yeah, it just gives you a lot more combability, just being able to summon Dark Magician from the deck. And as I said, you want as many ways to get to Dark Magician as possible, so the sooner you get all three out of your deck, the better. And then when that Dark Magician attacks, this banishes a card, which is very, very good in that. Is very, very good at that as well. So, 2 Evil Illusion Magician, because it does a lot for your deck. Um, then we play one Big Eye, because it's Big Eye. Give me your monsters. Come on, give me your monsters. Nah, nah, we're not, we're not talking about this. You're giving me your monsters. This ice cream cone says so. <laughs> yes, yeah, one big eye for that reason. Uh, one red eyes darkness metal flare. One red eyes flare metal dragon. Just so you can be like, oh, you have monsters. Uh, you want to use effects. You're on low life points. Burn, 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 dead. So yeah, same reason why you played it in Ordai's magicians. And then finally, two dark magician the dragon knight. Um, you play two of this because of its basically the card that protects that makes the best combo ever um, <laughs> this and this um, so basically if you have this this can't die and if you have this this can't die I mean this can't die because you have this um, so this can't die because you have this and this can't die because you have this which is just amazing because it means eternal soul can't die because it's a because it's a spell or trap card and this can't be targeted either um, and this can't die because it's a dark magician, so it can't be affected by anything. Obviously, your opponent can still beat over it, but even if they do, you're just going to eternal soul effect to bring it back because it counts as a dark magician on the field or in the graveyard. So, dark, you play this mainly because it's just your, one of your best combos ever, just being able to get get two dark magicians, just being able to make this with an eternal soul, just makes infinite pro protectability in the deck, and it really does make it powerful. Like, if you make this turn one, your opponent's not doing anything. Literally, because and it's possible to make this turn one because we play um, Dark Magic Circle. Uh, no, not Dark Magic Circle. We play um, Dark Magic Veil. So if you open Dark Magician this into Myers, uh, you're making this, which is very, very good. So 
Yeah, that's the profile, guys. Um, that is the pro. That's the profile. Uh, I like this profile a lot because of I've just been testing it a lot. I've been having fun with it, and I feel like this is the best possible profile um, Dark Magician deck you could play. Uh, just with the combos it does, with the links, with the ability to link summon, just being very, very powerful in this deck, and and being able to make the new Dark Magician Dragon Knight with Apprentice Illusion Magician Girl. Um, in the corner as well, just being able to use extra damage or extra searching for Dark Magician, it really does make this deck a lot more competitive and a lot more poten and it has a lot more potential now. But yeah, guys, um, that's the profile. Tell me what you think of this profile in the comment section below. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you don't like it. Give me your opinions because I have been testing this for a while. Um, I do enjoy it. Like I would have given you a deck profile sooner, but. I just didn't have the cards, like, I finally pulled this firewall this weekend, so I finally got the one firewall I needed to actually do the profile for you guys. So, I finally got the one firewall that I needed to actually be able to do the profile, but, yeah guys, this is the profile, tell me what you think of it, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more new videos, press the notification button to be notified of future videos, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Robert one signing out. Thanks guys.